Good morning guys, the time is 5.34 on Tuesday the 9th of May. I just got out of bed, opened the windows, made my bed after praying and I decided to get into some gym wear, brush my teeth and get ready for gym. I then decide to make myself a pre-workout snack slash breakfast or else bins out kulega because I could feel I was hungry and then I made my way to the gym. Of course, there I am setting myself nicely up by the squat rack. It's probably my second time um, doing squats with the squat rack instead of the Smith machine, which I have been looking forward to. So I did um, 10 reps times four sets of these squats before moving on to the next exercise. I also did Bulgarian split squats after the next exercise and hip thrusts, but they were out of frame, so you won't see that. Here is terrible, terrible form of RDLs. Here's an example of how you shouldn't do RDLs. I feel like I was bending way too deeply and my back was going way too low, um, but okay. Then I do some kickbacks. Basically, look at that shelf. Mm. <laughs> I then stretch to aid muscle recovery and to just ease the stress on my muscles. It's one of my favorite parts of exercising leg day, particularly when it's been hectic. It feels a lot like yoga. I think I'd really enjoy Pilates as a person, like granted how I enjoy like the slow controlled movements, even when I'm doing like when I'm lifting or when I'm exercising. So I think I'd actually enjoy Pilates. Hashtag rich housewife era loading. <laughs> so yes, um, I then walk back to my place and take a shower. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sinovuya Damane and if you're visiting for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy it and you decide to stay. And if of course you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for sticking with me through thick and thin for the likes, comments, share, all the love you continue to show me. I truly appreciate it from the very bottom of my heart. And of course, if you if um if you're a regular, you know that this is my first time exciting times exciting times i decided to try this out because one okay one i saw this lady on tiktok who i can't forget uh, i can't remember geez can't remember her um, handle but i'll probably leave it somewhere um she did this series called delusional diaries where she was um acting or living out her dream life before it even fully manifested for her um and i thought this would be such a great way to like inspire and motivate myself to live the life that I want to live. I remember just having a conversation just the other day with my friend about, I really don't know like why I'm not making the most out of my life right now. I'm in the sense that I feel like I have all the resources that I need to kind of live the life of my dreams. Obviously the life of my dreams probably has more materially, but um, in terms of like the core of like the core things that I want to have in my life, such as like the routine that I want, you know, um, how I want to show up for myself, how I want to show up for school, for my business, um, as a mother, etc. You know, I think like I kind of have like what it takes to live that life, and I've been unnecessarily delaying myself because there's always that idea that you know when I have this, when I have that, that's when I live the life of my dreams. But I was like, actually. Let me start a bit until it actually fully manifests because I fully, fully believe in like the power of manifestation, but obviously the Christian version of being faithful with the few so that God can bless you with more. Yes. So essentially that's, that's the idea that I have in my mind, just being faithful with what I have and using that to the best of my ability to generate the desired outco outcome or live or to push me towards the life of my dreams essentially yeah so that's why you'll see me being more consistent at the gym i joined the gym last year august i remember my flatmate and i decided but actually we're done we're going to do what we want to do let's join the gym we joined the gym and um, we're consistent the most results i've yielded from the gym was in my first month and two and i feel like now i'm at a plateau like when it comes to like my gym or fitness journey um yeah man 
yeah i miss those gains i really miss those gains eh but hopefully we can get those back as well and what else man just my routine and how dedicated i want to be to like school academics and the likes you know so that's essentially like the driving force behind me trying out vlogs um i remember even someone else asking me like what do you do on your channel and i remember saying i speak <laughs> and you know what facts like that's what i'm essentially about like i love talking like as you can see i love talking but i'm sure i can still incorporate that meaningfully into my vlogs as well and i'll still have like the sit down vlogs as well but let me see how this goes like whether i enjoy it whether it's yielding the desired results or desired outcome and yeah let's see where we go with this yeah so um it's tuesday the 9th of may um obviously you saw in the montage what i did this morning and then what i'll be doing for the rest of the day i have a consultation with someone at nine someone that i met online that i thought would be great to give me like advice when it comes to entrepreneurial stuff based on what they were sharing um in the seminar that i attended it was an alan gray orbis foundation seminar so i hit the person up and i asked for a consult in fact i asked them to give me advice and they suggested that we have a virtual session this morning so that's what i'm getting ready for currently I have low shedding but that's fine hopefully my battery life will last me and um, throughout that meeting or i'll ask my flatmate if she has like an alternative power source because my laptop is also off and then um there's um what's this tuesday what's it called now something tuesday at food lovers where 10 rands tuesday where everything is not everything selected items are going for 10 rands so after that i'm hoping to go and get the things that i didn't get when i went shopping grocery shopping last weekend i left i intentionally left out the veggies because i thought i'd go get them at food lovers because they usually have specials so i remember that today is supposed to be um, 10 rands tuesday so i'll go and grab those after the consultation then make lunch then head to campus and study because i have a test an admin test that is coming up on thursday the 11th i actually thought it was going to be an online mcq but turns out it's going to be a face-to-face -face mcq so i need to be to get very serious about that yes so that's essentially it i need to also go to the take a lot at the vids campus because i ordered something for my baby and my brother um so i need to collect those um i got a notification yesterday that it was ready for collection but i delayed collecting it because i wanted to include in the vlog like go and cut some movement you get what i'm saying so yeah that's essentially it i hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog and um, please do comment what you like what you think i could do better you know i'm open to constructive criticism or whatever so thank you very very much hope you enjoy see you later eat my to the people properly <laughs> look how gorgeous she is please this is gonna be the first guest on the 20 series i said you you heard it here first exactly 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 yeah 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 i love i love, I love her so much it is it really is <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Not <very good>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, you've already met her. That's B. Now I'm going to she's going to school slash work and I'm going to food lovers to grab like the 10 Rand stuff and then I'll be back, make food, then head to campus as well. So bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> Um, for salads, um, peppers, 
got two packs because I don't really use peppers a lot in this house, particularly for like what do we use? For for pastas, I hate pasta with pepper. It's not my favorite. I, I don't hate it. Hate is a strong word, but it's not my favorite. I'd rather not. But I'm sure I'll make use of this for like stews and stuff. Then we also got carrots. Um, got these forky um, potatoes, so these baby potatoes. Could use these for like salads. Uh, roast. Yeah, but I'm Why is this? Oh, oh. <laughs> Bonolo opened this. So it's definitely not on food lovers. I'm gonna open this. So it's like these, I'd say mini oranges because you know, Was it actual oranges? Kitty? Yeah, it's an orange. Yeah, whoa, whoa. It's oranges. I um, got those. Got these bananas. They aren't ripe yet. They're looking very green. But this is our chop pumpy. Looks like it was Tim Ram, so it's fine. And then you got a pawpaw. Bonolo loves pawpaws. I mean, after she introduced them to me, sorry, that's my crib. I am going to eat now. I'm going to have some leftovers from yesterday. And um, it's rice and horse. <laughs> um, so um, this she loves. And we have muesli and yogurt. So I think I might just incorporate that into that when I'm eating like my breakfast. So yes, that is basically what we got. All of these were 90 rands in total. So 10 rands each, 91 rands 30, including the plastic. A plastic plastics go for one rand 30 nowadays and we have forgotten to take like our um, woolies bags to go and like use them for instead of getting in plastic but oh that's pretty much it vlogging but i remembered luckily so i uh, the library i was working at closed till five after five i made my way to the take a lot pickup point at vids to pick up the order that i had made that i told you guys about earlier on then i made my way to my place got here started washing the dishes i'm not done then in the middle of that i decided to make my mass gainer and um, because i'm of course back at the gym and i'm trying to see these gains okay <laughs> I'll show you guys the actual packaging the day that I actually make it on like a vlog so you guys can see which my skin I'm currently using. And then after I wash the dishes, I'm going to make myself some food. I've decided that I want to make or try a poke bowl. I've been seeing it on social media a lot. Like I've been seeing people posting these poke bowl situations. I've just been seeing it a lot. And one, my first instinct is, okay, this is a weird combination because why pone rice ne ne tuna? Uh, not to tuna that's what i'm gonna make but usually i see like rice evo and salmon and eh, so i wanted to see so i'm gonna try that because i see, i realize i have all the ingredients for that and i'm gonna take you guys with or i'm gonna show you that process give you my review of how i whether i like it or not and then after that, I'm going to end the vlog and I'm going to study from my place until I can't study anymore. So yes, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm making the bowl. So here I am making the poke bowl. I am putting the tuna straight from the can. My mom would kill me. Um, I seasoned it with the fish spice. Then I put the cucumber, obviously put some carrots in there. I grated them a bit bigger because it didn't make sense to have them too fine. And then I added the sliced avocado to the bowl, which I then go ahead and season with some black pepper. And I also seasoned it with the fish spice again because it's not going to be tasty at all. 
then I added the honey and mustard no man is it honey and mustard yes honey and mustard mayonnaise from Molly's which I absolutely love it's also great for wraps and sandwiches and that's how it looks I did not insert the footage where I was doing the live taste test because I looked famished and Istima Sam is at risk. But overall, it's a 6 out of 10 from me. It's giving deconstructed sushi and I like it.